Home news skywatching The only total lunar eclipse of 2021 occurs this week and for families looking to enjoy the super flower blood moon eclipse, here's everything you need to know. On May 26, or between May 25 to 27, depending on where you are in the world, there will be a total lunar eclipse. During a lunar eclipse, the moon travels through Earth's shadow as our planet is directly in between the sun and our natural, rocky satellite. In a total lunar eclipse, the moon and sun are on exact opposite sides of the Earth and the moon is completely engulfed in Earth's shadow, while a partial lunar eclipse occurs when only a part of the moon moves into Earth's shadow. This eclipse will occur at the same time as a supermoon, an informal term that describes times when the full moon is at perigee, or its closest point to Earth, making it look extra big and bright in the night sky. Depending on where you live, you will need to wake up early or stay up late to see the eclipse. It begins at 4.47 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 0847, GMT, with peak totality occurring at 7.16 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 11.16 GMT. The eclipse will end at 9.50 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 13.50 GMT. If it is daytime in your viewing location, you will have to watch webcasts where it is still night. Super Flower Blood Moon, Webcasts. How to watch the lunar eclipse online This infographic shows the stages of the May 26, 2021 total lunar eclipse in Universal Time, or GMT. Image Credit. NASA Scientific Visualization Studio, Super Flower Blood Moon Eclipse, Image Credit. Courtesy of Amelda Josan and Edwin Aguirre. If you take a photo of the 2021 total lunar eclipse let us know. You can send images and comments to spacephotos at space.com. The upcoming eclipse will be visible from western North America, southern and far western South America, the Pacific Ocean, New Zealand, Australia and Southeast Asia. Totality, or the point when Earth's shadow is fully obscuring the moon, can last anywhere from a few seconds to up to 100 minutes. The totality of this upcoming eclipse is expected to last for about 14 minutes and 30 seconds. However, for those who will be able to view the total lunar eclipse, get outside early because, starting about an hour and a half before totality you will be able to see a partial umbral eclipse. This means that you will slowly start to see the shadow cast across the moon's face. According to NASA, whether you catch just part of the eclipse or witness the entire event, viewing a lunar eclipse as an awe-inspiring sight that gives students a great opportunity to engage in practical sky watching. The education team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has this awesome lunar eclipse activity for kids to teach students how and why lunar eclipses work. Aside from acting as an opportunity for learning, it's also just a really fun experience to go and look at a total lunar eclipse, astronomer and astrophysicist Jackie Faraday of the American Museum of Natural History in New York City told Space.com.